Hello, my name is Million Cat and welcome back to another video on the Halloween event. I bet you weren't expecting this, but we do have some quite big changes to the event. So I thought I would make a video going over these changes. And then I will also play a couple of games. I do have quite a lot of teeth I can spend to share my updated advice on how to play the minigame on beta. I do want to say again though, this is still on beta. I do still expect there to be more changes uh, because based on these changes, uh, most of them are quite positive uh, and I, I would definitely not be surprised to see some nerfs when it comes to rewards because yeah, at the moment you can get quite a lot of rewards from the game. So without further ado, let's go over the changes and then I'll play a couple of games. The biggest change, the first one here, we have changed the redraw cost from 25 to 5 teeth. That's a big one. That's a very, very big one. And because of this, we will see when I play that the new uh, way to play the minigame is to redraw a lot to make sure that each turn you get a good card to play with. So that's something we will definitely see, and that's definitely a very, very big thing. So stay tuned to see more of that. Now to compensate slightly for that, uh, the cost of continuously redrawing will now increase by a factor of 4 instead of 2. So in the past, uh, after you re had redrawn, you could redraw again for 50. So twice as much, two times as much. Now that has gone up by now that goes up by four instead. So it goes up from five to twenty and then to eighty, I suppose, and so on. Uh, now that's of course a lot more expensive in the long term. However, something that I didn't mention last time, because uh, to be frank, I didn't know it was a thing. Uh, after you have selected a card when you redraw, uh, you can redraw again for the initial cost. So if I redraw, select one of the options, and then redraw again, it will still only cost 5. Uh, it is only when you redraw without selecting a card uh, that you have to pay this increased cost. That might be a bug, it might not, so that might not be a thing for the live release, uh, but for now at least, that is something that we can take advantage of. Um, yeah, don't need to go into more details there. Uh, they have also made the choice of deck more meaningful. Some enemy cards are now guaranteed to be the fraction mentioned in the beginning. Uh, so here, for example, choose werewolf deck to outshine vampires. Uh, that means that some cards in the uh, dungeon will now be guaranteed to be uh, vampires. Uh, in the past, uh, they only had a higher chance, as I understand it, but now certain enemies are guaranteed to be vampires. And that's uh, also quite a big thing, uh, for example, at the later stages. Uh, yeah, some of those being guaranteed to be vampires would be uh, quite a big thing to make uh, dungeons easier to play. Uh, they have also rebalanced dungeons slightly. Dungeons now start out easier and become more difficult uh, later on. Later enemy cards now have even more health, for example. Uh, I've actually marked this green here, which is kind of my way of saying this is a buff. I think it's quite n neutral, but uh, overall I think it leans slightly towards positive uh, because it makes the start easier. Uh, and even though it makes the ending harder, there are some good ways to uh, play around that increase in difficulty that you will see in a moment when I play. So overall I think this is a good thing as well. Then finally, you can now win silver upgrade kits for the Storm Spire from the boss at the 11th encounter. So for the final boss, you can now, uh, in addition to have a chance of winning the golden upgrade kit, you can now also win the silver upgrade kit, uh, which I think overall is also a good thing. I don't know the chances yet. That's something that we can look at when we get there. Uh, but uh, yeah, I think that's a good thing as well. So overall, some very positive changes. Especially in terms of playstyle, as you will see, as I'll start playing, uh, I think the playstyle is much uh, more fun to play, and I'm definitely a fan of the update. That said, I do think that there will be some nerves when it comes to rewards, because at the moment, 
uh, you will get a lot of rewards as we can see in this video. Um, but yeah, that's uh, we'll have to see when that time comes. So I am starting with 1575 Halloween teeth. Let's keep track of that. Uh, I really should write it down somewhere. <laughs> so let me actually write it down on the side here just so that I don't forget. So 1575. And then we can look at how much I spent because the amount of uh, teeth you spend now is a lot lower than it was in the past. So, choose werewolf deck to outshine vampires. Let's choose werewolves and let's start playing. Let's enter the dungeon. So, the first change you can see here is that the first couple of enemies have lower health. So, here we have one. And the alpha wolf here is way too powerful. So, here we definitely can redraw. And because it only costs five, we can redraw as much as we want. So, what do we want to choose? Uh, I think any of these or any of these two last one here would do so big bet that's the one I'm gonna go for it has a low amount of attack but enough to win which is good um, and actually yeah, both the other two are a bit too powerful so let's go for the big bet let's win the first fight very easily then the next one here uh, I think I'm gonna keep the lone one here it's a little bit perhaps a little bit too powerful with four uh, so let's actually check our deck real quickly if there are better options. So this is a vampire. Uh, so the wolf pup here uh, would be slightly better options. Uh, it's a slightly worse card, which is a better one here because I only need to, uh, to deal to health. Uh, I would take a lot of damage with the zombie, so I'm not going to use that. Uh, the black cat would be fine as well. Uh, this black cat would be a bit risky, so I'm not sure if, one, if I want to go for that. The big bat would also be a bit risky. That would take a bit too much damage. So, looking at the deck, at the card here, uh, there's only really one that I think I would prefer, and that's the uh, this wolf pup. So, I'm not going to change. I'm just going to go with the lone one here. It's fine. All right. So, the next one here has three health. Uh, the alpha wolf here is definitely two... Uh, too powerful. I'm gonna swap again because it only costs five. Uh, and the twin trees here also has a bonus against a wolf, so no reason to use it that. So, uh, wolf, bug, cold hand. I think I'm gonna redraw again here because I don't really fancy any of these. The bug hag is a, is a little bit too powerful, and the cold hand is not powerful enough. So now you can see that the redraw cost is 20, but if I first choose a card and then redraw, the cost is a lot lower. And that's because now I redraw from my full uh, selection of cards again, whereas if I had chosen the other options, I would not get those three cards I had already uh, picked. So so you, you do, um, it is slightly worse to uh, choose and then redraw, but the cost more than makes up for that. So let's redraw again. Let's see if we get a better option this time. Uh, the black cat, I don't think I'm going to take the chance, uh, quite a low chance, only a 33% chance of winning. Uh, let's see here. Uh, I don't really fancy any of these either, so I'm going to choose and I'm going to redraw again, because that is perfectly fine. So the cold hand, that's also a shame. I think I'm going to redraw again. Let's actually see, before I continue, what do I actually want to pick? So it's a zombie and I need to deal three health. Uh, so the lone one, that's not going to do. The cold hand, not really ideal either. This black cat, I might take a chance on. Um, the big bat here might be a decent option uh, between two and uh, four. So a decent chance of winning. Uh, not going to go for a wolf because I take some damage in return. The bug hag, don't really want to go for that either. Don't really want to go for the black cat. So it's only really one card, I suppose, that I want to go for, which is the big bet here, which is also actually a bit risky still. But uh, I think I'm going to wait until I get to that. Uh, or possibly the bug hag. Um, hmm. I don't know. I think I might just go for the bug hag. I'm not sure if I'm gonna... Ah, I don't really want to, but... Uh, 
I'm, I'm just gonna go for it. I, I'm not sure if this is the best option, but probably not, but uh, it's gonna be fine. So now we get to our first ability card. Uh, and this is, well, one of the other big changes with this is that you, I, I now recommend picking at least, or in most cases, at least two cards. Um, this is actually quite a poor selection. I'm definitely gonna choose Vile Renewal. You'll see that in a moment. Um, now, after these two, um, hmm. So both of these two uh, are decent against the final boss. Um, so I think I might no, attack itself with half its base power. That's definitely not good enough, but I think I'm going to go for Soul Sever here. Um, it's decent enough for the final boss. Uh, one of these combined with one a frenzy ability card uh, which we'll see later on uh, is enough to take down the final boss so i'm gonna spend 50 to for soul sever here and i'll yeah most likely use that on the final card not a good selection but uh, it is what it is okay uh, the big bat here um i think i actually might take a chance on the black cat it's a bit risky but uh, yeah, sure, let's take a chance, 66% <laughs> chance of succeeding. There we go, we won, so that was fine. Not sure if I would usually recommend taking a chance, but uh, why not? Okay, in this scenario, the Alpha Wolf here is definitely way too powerful. Although, uh, I picked up the Vile Renewal, um, yeah, and I recommend, if you pick it up on the first ability card draw, I recommend pick it, uh, choosing uh, using it here. This is the last time uh, so this is the last time this Vile Renewal will uh, one-hit the enemy, so uh, dealing 3 damage. All uh, other enemies later than this will have more than 3 HP. Uh, and also I do need a little bit of uh, health, uh, would always be nice. So when you pick up Vile Renewal on the first go, I recommend to using it on the fifth card, because it will always one-hit it, which uh, is nice. So I'm going to use it here. Now we get to choose some other ability cards. What do we get here? Um, this is actually the exact same, <laughs> the exact same selection. Um, I think I'm going to go for the same again. I'm going to go for Vile Renewal. And I think I'm also going to go for Soul Sever. Um, or am I? Reduce enemy base health by 50. I wonder actually if we can use two of them on the final boss and kill it instantly. I don't actually know if that's the case or not. Uh, but uh, what I can do is I can use it on the second to last enemy. Uh, and that means that I can one hit that with uh, my cards. Um, I might have some cards that do that anyways, but uh, I think I'm going to go for another soul sever. Uh, because yeah, I can afford it because now we hardly spend anything on redrawing. Um, here we have uh, Madness, here it is attacking with uh, the full uh, base power, which uh, could have been nice, but uh, I'm going to go for Soul Sever instead. Alright, let's exit again. I'm definitely not going to use it here, so let's redraw. Alright, so we now have uh, 6 uh, health on the enemy. Uh, 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 what do we want to use? Uh, so it's a zombie. Let me see uh, what cards I have that can deal with the zombie. Uh, the big bat, not really that great. <laughs> I don't really have... Okay, so what I might do is that I'll use a Vile Renewal, which will take it down a decent amount, and then I will use uh, either the big bat or the cold hands, I think, to finish it off. Because most of my cards here are wolves, uh, which are not good against uh, the zombies. Uh, so I think that's what I'll do. So let's see if I have Vile Renewal here. Um, oh, I also have the black uh, cat, which I can use to... or And the cold hand to finish it off. So actually, I'm going to need either, uh, these cards anyways. Um, I think I'm going to go for the black cat. I'm going to use that. I'm going to fight. And now I'm going to use uh, Vile Renewal to finish it off, I think. Or should I? Uh, let's see. Uh, three health left. Uh, lone one. Let's see. How much is the Vile Renewal? It, is, it deals five damage and 
The next enemy will have five HP. So I might actually save the Vile Renewal and instead go for a card that deals uh, three damage. So it's a zombie. Which one can I use? I can use... Uh, uh, I can try the Big Bat. It's a slight risk, but uh, might be worth it. Um, I can try using the Big Bat, see if I can get that. Um, so just have to redraw a couple of times. I could try the Cold Hand as well. Um, a 50-50 chance of winning. Uh, the bet will have a higher chance. A 66% chance of winning. So I think I'm going to try to go for the bet. There we go. So here's the bet. A uh, better chance. Let's see if we are lucky this time. We are. Okay. So that's fine. I'm quite low in health now, but if I keep on redrawing, here we have the Vile Renewal, which will instantly kill uh, the seventh card. So, again, you can see that Vile Renewal is very nice uh, at uh, yeah, finishing off this. So the first one you get can uh, win uh, fight number five. The second one you get can win fight number seven. So let's use it here. We get the health back and we kill off the enemy. All right, what should we go for here? So here, I'm definitely going to go for Thief, because that allows me, uh, as you saw in the last video, to steal the rewards from the final boss, uh, so that I get those rewards twice, which is really nice. Uh, and I'm also going to go for Vile uh, Renewal. I get the back a decent amount of HP, and I also deal enough damage to one hit, uh, not the next enemy, but the enemy after that. So I'm going to choose that. There we go. Exit. And let's continue. So the Alpha Wolf here has 8 HP. <sighs> and it can deal a decent amount of damage. Uh, I think most of my cards are wolves here. So the Cold Hunt here does have a bonus, but uh, <laughs> not the greatest. Uh, let's see here. Uh, this one. I suppose I could try to use both my zombie cards. <laughs> Hmm. I could also I could also use Vile Renewal uh, and then one hit it in the next turn, uh, but I don't think I'm going to do that. I think I'm going to uh, use two cards to uh, end it, to, to finish it, but which two cards should I use? So this one will deal four to five, which is a decent amount, uh, and I will... Hmm. I do need to heal a little bit between these fights, which uh, is fine. Uh, you still have to heal quite a decent amount, but uh, usually not that much. So which card do I want? I might actually just use the Alpha Wolf, because I do have two cards that will cut the enemy health in half. So for uh, the second to last fight, uh, I'm going to need a card that deals four damage. And for the last, I need a card that deals five damage. So... This one will deal 5 damage. Um, this one will deal... Okay, so I can I can use uh, this card here. It will deal half the damage here. Uh, that's going to be fine. So let's fight. All right, so I need three more HP to survive. Uh, and I think that might be all that I need uh, to actually complete this dungeon, believe it or not. So... Um, and let's see, the wolf pup here uh, is not going to be able to win. So, first of all, let's buy 2 HP, uh, 3 HP, sorry. So, now I have 7, which is enough to survive one more attack, and I need to deal 3 more damage. So, let's redraw to get a card that will deal that amount of HP. Perfect, this one will deal between 3 and 4, so we're going to use the zombie here, the cold hands. Uh, in order to uh, finish off the Alpha Wolf here. So, let's choose it, let's fight. Ah, didn't actually take a lot of damage, which is nice. Now this one, as you can see, has 6 HP. So here, we're going to use the Vile Renewal. It will restore a lot of HP, and it will also kill off the Al Ghul here. So, let's choose it, let's use it, and there we go. Okay, so this one... Uh, we need to deal 8 damage. Uh, this card here will deal between 5 and 8. Uh, so I'm going to use it. And then the next turn I'm going to use... Actually, I don't really... I haven't used Madness before, I think. 
reduce enemy base health by 50%. Um, oh, soul saver, sorry. So, sever. Uh, I don't actually know if you need to use it before. Um, I imagine if I attack first and then use it, it will only reduce it by 50% after the fact. So, I'm going to redraw first uh, to get uh, the soul sever here to reduce the health. There we go. And now, I need to redraw again to get the Alpha Wolf, it's going to be going to work fine. So let's choose the Alpha Wolf and let's finish up with this one. And now there you can see 11 HP. Uh, we are going to, uh, first of all, we're going to steal to get the final reward here. So there we go. And there we got the silver. Ah, oh. no, never mind. I thought I forgot to check, but I didn't. Okay, so here we see. Uh, okay, good. It's a 25% chance each for the silver and golden upgrade, which is good. Uh, Soul Sever, that's exactly what we wanted. So now we can cut this in half, and I'm pretty sure it's going to round down. It is. Okay, to five. Unfortunately, we do have to redraw once more, but that's fine. We need to deal five damage. The Alpha Wolf here will do that. And as I mentioned previously, if you win while you drop down to zero, it's fine. You still win the battle. So here I'm going to deal seven, between seven and nine at HP, which is more than enough. And there we go. And we successfully won the dungeon. Lovely. And we did that spending 275 uh, Halloween teeth which is uh, quite average for what I have done the last... I've tested a, f a few uh, rounds before making this video. Uh, so, yeah, as you can see, that is some really... <laughs> well, I would say it's probably more than cutting the cost in half compared to previously, which is a very big deal. Um, it allows you to do a lot more games, uh, at least one game per day. Some days you can do two games or dungeons, um, and because I do have some more uh, currency here, and because the next recommendation here is Vampire, uh, I'm going to go again. I'm going to play through another full dungeon. So let's see if we get some better luck this time. Um, okay, so uh, the first one here, Cold Hand. I think I'm just going to keep the big bat. Don't think I need to change it out. Uh, uh, this Cold Hand uh, would also do the trick. Uh, 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 let's keep going. Uh, the black cat would do the trick. Uh, the wolf pup uh, would take a bit extra damage, so not the ideal. Uh, the cold hand here would also do the trick. So, yeah, I don't see any reason to change. I'm going to use that. There we go. Uh, this is way too powerful, so I'm going to redraw. Um, don't think I'm going to use the black cat. Or am I? Uh, no, I'm not. <laughs> so let's see. Uh, I could use this. I think I'm going to use this. Let me just quickly have a look at the other. So I could use the big bat. Uh, but that's the same, more or less, in value. Um, we do have the wolf pup. Um, nah, I'm just going to use this. It's... Uh, Slightly powerful, but it's fine. It's fine. Don't need to think too much about it. All right uh, Here we have three health uh, And a wolf so this one is not guaranteed to win. Let's see what other options we have Cold hand here uh, would be a 50 50 uh, Let's see all seeing would be guaranteed. That's a little perhaps a little bit too powerful um Cold hand here would have a higher chance. Uh, black cat. Hmm. Mm -mm -mm. Yeah, let's redraw and see what we get. Hmm. <laughs> so the cold hand. I'm tempted to try the gold hand. Let, let's have a little bit of fun. Let's try our luck. It has a bonus against the wolf. So 50 50. Let's go for it. Probably gonna bite me in the back. No, <laughs> was successful there as well, uh, which is nice. I had some bad luck <laughs> late uh, last time around. Uh, here, I'm gonna go for Frenzy. And the, the Frenzy is the one that I actually wanted. Uh, it's really good against the final 
two, uh, two enemies. So Frenzy here, sacrifice one HP to make the enemy attack itself twice. Uh, for the uh, second to last enemy, this means that this card has a 80% chance of one-hitting it. Uh, it only has a 33% chance of one-hitting the final boss, but again, because you don't have to survive the final uh, boss as long as you win, uh, you can then use pretty much any random card uh, to end it after Frenzy, and you will win. So I'm going to choose Frenzy, and I'm also going to choose Thief. Um, I don't think I need to pick the heal. Um, or I'm definitely not going not gonna to pick it because, well, uh, at 100 it's not worth it and buying health separately is cheaper. So, that's all the cards I'm going to choose here. Alright, here we have a vampire with 5 health. So let's see which card we want to defeat it. Uh, Bog Hag could be an option, all seeing. Uh, okay, so we do want a wolf, so the wolf pup is not uh, big enough or powerful enough. Do I have any better wolves? Uh, the wolf pup is not really big enough either, so I don't really have that great cards to defeat it. Uh, but I'm going to redraw see if I get a better one. I think I'm going to use the all-seeing uh, card here. I uh, probably have to do another card as well, but uh, that's fine because I don't really have to uh, and don't really have any good options here, so. I'm going to use that, and we do need one more card. Let's get uh, the black hat. Yeah, that's perfect. It's a, I think it's the lowest card I have right now. Who? I almost <laughs> ran out of health. I'm just going to buy one for now, uh, because I'm not sure how much... Um, how am I going to... I might buy more, actually, because I don't have any... Yeah, I'm going to buy more, because I do need some more health. I didn't pick up any last time around, so... I think I'm going to go all the way to 10, actually. Because I think I'm going to need it later on. So let's go 10 now. Let's choose that. Let's fight. All right. Um, I think we're going to go for the bug hack. Uh, it's a slight overkill. Uh, what other options do I have? Um, actually, I could go for a vampire. So this one will also be slightly overkill. Uh, this one... It's not really that big of a difference. Uh, the big bat... Actually, no, the big bat would be... Yeah, the big bat here is uh, the one I'm going to go for. Yeah, let's go for the big bat. Let's see how long it takes to get it. Probably not too long. Let's just choose that to redraw. Wolf, but big bat. There we go. So yeah, it has a bonus against the zombie, so it's going to deal three or four damage. Perfect. There we go, we get some more ability cards. What do we want here? I'm gonna choose another Frenzy. So now I have a Frenzy for both the final and second to final enemy, which is really nice. And I'll also choose Heal. So now I probably don't have to buy any more health. I can just use Heal when I need it. All right, uh, let's see here. Uh, this is not gonna do well. So let's see if I can with option I should go for so a wolf with 5 HP. Uh, the cold hand is not enough, unfortunately. I think the best bet might be the bug hag and hope for some luck. And then if I need to, I can use a wolf pup to finish it off. So let's try to get the bug hag, I think. All right, and yeah, I'm not going to use any of the ability cards here. Hmm. This is probably going to take a couple of attempts, but that's fine, because it doesn't cost a lot. There we go, there's the bug hag. Let's hope to... Mm, nice, so we did manage to get it all the way down. All right, um, here, um, I could do with some health. I don't need it quite yet, but... Uh, yeah, I do want it uh, relatively quickly. Another wolf, that's not ideal. <laughs> not ideal at all. Um, so I'm not going to be using that. So we do have a wolf pup, uh, which is not going to do too much damage. The cold hand could deal a decent amount. But I might need two wolf pups to do it. Um, I am actually tempted to use a frenzy here. 
Uh, I know it's a little bit crazy, but uh, I think I might actually do it. Uh, because that will kill the Alpha Wolf. I will get another ability card. I might get another Fancy. Because I only really need it for the last two fights, I think. Um, hmm. I don't know. I'm not sure if it's the best use, but uh, I am going to use it. All right, there we go. So, uh, we didn't get another one, but we do get a Thief. So now we have two Thieves for the final boss, which is really nice. And um, I can choose a Soul Sever. So I'm, I can use a Soul Sever on the final boss uh, to uh, one hit to that afterwards. Um, yeah, yeah, I think I'm going to do that. I'm not going to go for the madness. All right, here we go. I'm uh, not going to steal here, so let's redraw. Uh, what options do we have? So this is a ghoul, so a wolf would be ideal. But I don't have a good enough wolf to one-hit it. But uh, I could use two of the two of the wolves. Um, I do want to heal, though. Um, yeah, I do want to heal. Did I get out? I didn't. Okay. <laughs> So I think I'm going to redraw again. Uh, thief, don't want to use that. So, hmm. Hmm, I don't know. <laughs> I'm tempted to use another Frenzy, but no, I'm going to save that for later on. Uh, so I have Frenzy and a Madness, right? Uh, Soul Sever, sorry. Yeah, so I can use those on the two final fights. Uh, heal, I'll use when I get it. The unfortunate thing is that uh, I really want to use it now, so I think I'm just going to redraw again to get the heal. There we go. There's the heal. So let's heal up. Nice. We're not going to steal. So let's use uh, two wolf pups then. Uh, even that is not guaranteed. So wolf up here will do half. And then the other wolf... Uh, there we go. The other wolf will deal up to four, so that could be enough. I guess if that's not enough, I can just use... I'll go... I can use one of those. Hmm, I don't know. I don't really like the, situations that, the situation that I've ended up in. Uh, I feel like I've been a bit unlucky. Or perhaps what's really biting me is some of the uses I used uh, right in the beginning. Uh, so, let's go for the wolf pup. Let's give it a go. That's really not what I wanted. So, that means that I do probably need two more cards. Uh, I could try to use the Algul. This Algul probably would be best. So, I have three fights after this. <laughs> uh, three fights. Uh, the next one is only six HP. So this one will, I think, will kill it if it is the if it is a zombie. I think it is a zombie. Uh, this one is not guaranteed. Um, this one will kill it. This one. I do have uh, decent cards though. So yeah. So I think I'm gonna redraw and see if I can get. I think it's actually that one I wanted because it has a. Uh, 66% chance of winning. Yeah, it's the one I wanted, so I'm going to go for this. Okay, so luckily I was able to defeat it. So here we do have a zombie. Um, now I do need some more health, unfortunately. Um, yeah, I do need some more health. Um, I might... I think I'm going to go for five first. Uh, I probably need a little bit more, but hopefully not too much more than that. So let's see here. This one is not enough, so I do need to redraw again. <laughs> need to redraw again. Really? Here we have uh, any of these two cards I need. Either of these. So let's uh, try again. Nope. 
<laughs> nope. There we go. This one will do. Uh, would have preferred the other one, but uh, it's going to be fine because we're going to uh, deal with the next two cards. Uh, so we don't need to worry about it. So let's twist this. Let's win this fight. There we go. Uh, so now I'm going to use Frenzy here. Uh, because here, uh, as I mentioned earlier, it has an 80% chance of one-hitting the enemy. So hopefully uh, we are lucky again. So let's give it a go. There we go. So we were indeed successful. So now we are at the final boss. Uh, we will first use the two thieves we have to steal <laughs> steal from the enemy. There we go. Let's redraw again for the next thief. There we go. Lovely. Uh, and now we need to get the soul sever to reduce the HP by half. And there it is. Use. And now I need to deal 5 HP, which I'll be able to do, this is a zombie, so that I'll be able to do with either this or this. Um, yeah, so one of these two will do. There we go. So I'll be dealing uh, 6 HP or more, which is enough to win. Let's choose, let's fight, let's win, and there we go. So this one was definitely harder, but uh, still successful. Um, let's uh, let's see. Um, I don't remember exactly what I started with. Um, or I know that I've spent now 670. Uh, I spent 275, I think. So that means I spent 400. Is that correct? Yeah, 400 on that uh, attempt, uh, which is definitely more <laughs> than the first one. Uh, but still perfectly fine. Still perfectly fine. All right. So as you can see, it is now much easier to win these fights. Even though I had to fight a little bit for it on the final one, uh, it's still perfectly uh, fine. You can still, uh, yeah, still do it. All right. Just opened that chest. I'm not really that interested in uh, the tarot card caravans here. Uh, now before I end, <laughs> I am going to do uh, a quick... Uh, um, yeah, I'm quickly going to play through the zombies as well. Um, though, I'm actually going to go a little bit further than, uh, than in the past. So, uh, I'm going to use some uh, teeth to redraw. I'm not going to use any to buy extra cards, but I am going to use some to redraw. So, it does recommend me to pick vampires, but uh, I can't, so I'm going to choose zombies. Luckily, it's uh, zombies against zombies, so should be all right. All right, so um, I'll use the big bat. That's fine. Uh, the twin bees here uh, might be slight overkill, but uh, still fine. I'm not going to spend a lot on redrawing. Uh, the rotten one, um, I might redraw, uh, try to save that for later on. Um, let's use twin bees, why not? There we go. So I'm only going to choose one card here, and I am going to choose heal, so that I can survive a little bit longer. Alright, what's the next one? Um, I'm going to take a chance. Yeah, there we go. I won. That's nice. Uh, the rotten one here will win against this. Uh, I think I'm going to use it. Don't think I want to spend anything redrawing there. And uh, let's go for heal again. I'm not going to go for Thief because I'm probably not going to get uh, too much further. Or I'm going to get a bit further, but not uh, too much. Uh, so here, uh, I want to redraw so that I'm able to heal. There we go. Alright, so let's see. Um, I think we're going to use... No, I'm going to redraw. Let's see if we get a better option. Um, we didn't really. Uh, so I think... I think I'm going to try redrawing again because... Uh, Let's see, uh, I want zombies against the wolves, and I definitely have some, I think, that I can deal five or more damage. This one could, this one could, so two of them can. Let's try one more time to redraw. Mm. Let's try one more. I think I'm going to redraw until I get there, because redrawing, again, is really cheap. So there we go. I can use the rotten one here. 
There we go. Um, I can heal. That'll bring me up to 13, so that's fine. Uh, zombie, I need to deal 5 damage. I might give it a go with Rotten One. Do I have any better options? Big Bat will not do. That'll not do. Uh, that's not gonna do. Yeah, so I'm just gonna fight here. Probably have to do two. Yep, have to do one more. The cold end here is fine. There we go. Okay, um, I'm gonna go for health again, Vile Renewal. Uh, again, I'm not gonna spend any more teeth. Exit, all right. So, El Ghul. Um, I think actually the Wolf Pup could be an interesting option. Do I have any better cards? Uh, so, 8 HP against Vampire. Yeah, I'm just gonna use the... Or I could use Frenzy. I picked up one of those, right? Or did I? Uh, no, I didn't. Vile Renewal. Uh, and I want to use the Vile Renewal on next card, I think. Although... If I use... Yeah, I probably have to use the Vile Renewal next time around. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna use file renewal now because otherwise I'm gonna lose. Uh, so I'm gonna use it here. I'll win. There we go. So now we have a zombie with six HP. Can I win against that? Uh, not with one hit, so I do need two. Uh, but I can afford that. Uh, yeah, I can afford that. I'm I'm definitely not gonna win against the next one. Uh, so. Let's see, uh, the wolf pup here, yeah, I do need to redraw, don't want that. Um, let's go for the all-seeing, gonna deal a decent amount, there we go, and then twin beast is fine. Alright, so, yeah, we got another upgrade kit, that's nice, I'm actually missing those. And then, yeah, we're not gonna be able to win against the final two. But that's fine, we have only spent uh, 40, I think, 40 teeth. And from those 40 teeth, we've been able to <laughs> defeat 9 out of those uh, nine out of those 11 cards. So even though we didn't win, we did get a lot of nice rewards. Don't know exactly how much, but uh, probably a decent amount, like, uh, I don't know, 30, 40 points perhaps towards the grand prizes. Uh, and some rewards, including, as you could see, if we get up the menu here, uh, an upgrade kit. So I got two of those this time around. I got four silver upgrades, uh, which is really nice. I got two uh, level uh, two, uh, level one buildings, sorry. I got one of these selection kits, and did I get a gold? I didn't. Uh, so if I go to store... Store. There we go. So I now... Ooh, I'm definitely low on golden upgrades. So hopefully I can get some more of those. Um, well, yeah. Overall, I have a decent amount now of all of them. Uh, I'll remind you, I did get six of these from uh, daily specials, but the, the rest of these are from defeating dungeons. So especially with this update now, you, uh, and where you can defeat a lot more dungeons, uh, you should be able to get a lot more of those storm spires. And... Uh, in case you don't remember or haven't seen, with these you can get all the way up to 6% attack from a 1x1 one one building. And also one forge point. It starts at 3, so definitely not a bad one uh, from the beginning either. Whew, alright. That was... Uh, it took a bit, bit longer than I expected, but hopefully you see um, how big of a <laughs> improvement this is. Uh, in total now, my average was uh, about 330 or something, 335, I think, uh, teeth per full dungeon. Uh, with that, you can do one dungeon per day, pretty much. Um, which, yeah, is definitely a lot better. But also, as you could see, um, I only had to spend, I think it was 40. Uh, and by doing so, I got quite far in the third dungeon as well. So even when not doing full dungeons, by just spending some teeth here and there to uh, reshuffle uh, and using ability cards, especially healing ability cards, you can get quite far without spending hardly any teeth at all. So all this combined means that you will definitely be able to get the main building fully leveled for free. Uh, you need to get to 1000 
Uh, I'm pretty sure I am there already. If I spent all my keys here, it will be 160 here. Uh, here it's around 200. Here it's around 250. So 450, 600. And I am now at, okay, so almost 1000 with what I have now. And we do still have <laughs> two weeks left of the event. So I do expect there again to be some nerfs when it comes to rewards, especially these keys um, or the amount of progress perhaps you get from those keys. Um, but uh, yeah, for now, take advantage of the situation, I suppose, if you play on beta. Um, and as always, you will get a fully up-to-date tutorial before the event goes out on live. Okay, one final thing before I end this video. Let me thank my Patreons for their support. I would like to thank Homestar, Loden, Kim Kelly, Rolf the 8, Dan Simnet, Chanti, Hecate, Dark Matter, Mylia, Sierra K, Merrick B, Hugo Count von Count, Drew the Dennis, Susan Weiss, Rocco, Spike from No Remorse, Burton Andres, Atomic, Flavius the Avenger, Arthur, Jibber, Whiskey Meister, Mar and Sir. Hoss, Alexander Klerber, Otarel, Mike, Upshot the Obsessed, Ruth, Karen, Dennis, Flavius Pelotarius, Stampe, Potter, BCX77, Niklas, Maxo, Michael, and Early Morning. Thanks a lot for your support. Thanks for watching. Take care. I will see you in the future. Bye bye.